Hey, Tate here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover Wave Analyst with Elliot Wave Theory and provide multiple scenarios price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on a one hour time frame and looking at this higher time frame structure first, as it is starting to get um, interesting here as well. Now the overall structure we had as of one possibility was that we had an ABC here or any three wave move, whether it's a WXY like that, it uh, does not really matter. The point is that it ends up in here. As this is a move in the past, um, it doesn't really concern me anymore. So as I'm just looking into the future and seeing, <laughs> seeing if you can catch some uh, setups there. The other scenario was that we had a WXY like so, and then ABC expanded flat down here into the wave X, and then we would be looking for that wave Y. Again, this structure here would be more corrective as, uh, as we are expecting a three-way structure into the wave Y. Now, the only difference is uh, whether this structure here is going to be the start of something, uh, continuation to the, to the downside with this count here, or whether this fireway move here is the end of something, which again is this count. Um, on ETH, uh, I would be expecting that to be something like this, where this structure was going to be something new. So I could be reflecting on that more here or reflecting that count um, into Bitcoin as well, saying that, okay, it is more likely that we are doing something like this. But only time will tell and we'll see if that is going to come alive or not. Now, the structures here for this fireway move is as following, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, into third, fourth, and then looking for this fifth. Now we have quite low uh, targets here uh, on this minuscule count, 18.2K is one, and uh, the current ones that we are around at six or 19.6k we already reached so either this is done or we have one more uh, lower target structures here now this structure has changed a bit since the last count before i had the wave four around here instead of here so we had the count as one two three four and five um, ending here and then we were, would be looking at this as a wave one um, of something new now, we have not invalidated that idea either, as we did not take out uh, this current low here. However, this structure here definitely looks impulsive. Um, so there is also a possibility that instead of the wave five ending here, we would have this as an A, B and C. This would bring us the wave four here at 38 to retracement of that third move and then we would be looking for five ways down. Now, again, uh, another possibility would be that this five way move is the end of this larger time frame fifth, ending this fifth. However, it is truncated and therefore it is less likely to be that case. Now, what invalidates that idea is taking out uh, this high here uh, or invalidates the idea of continuation downwards is in uh, getting the price above this high here of around uh, 20.56k. At that point, again, we can't have a start here. This needs to be a fireway structure that ends something. And at that point, we would have to say, okay, it's ended this count here. That would be the end. Unfortunately, it would be a truncation, but that's all I got here for that structure. Um, if, however, we are going to be breaking these lows here, we would be more conf uh, confirming more that this would be a uh, direction that we would be going forwards now and instead we would have this as a one two possible three four and five to the downside again now we don't have really low targets for here in this smaller time frame if we are looking at it just a white count here as we already had an extension on this third. So these were the targets here, 1.618 around the 19.5K, uh, which we tagged and the 18.9K. Um, this, however, I don't feel like is, is valid. If this is going to be a wave one here, then two, uh, the 2.618 is just around the 1.618 extension of this move here. So I, I don't really expect that to hold. So I would be more looking like this. 18.2k as a possibility instead 
So again, not, not my ideal setups here, but again, the invalidations are these two points, as I mentioned, and those are the ones that I would be tracking. So is there any trades to be had right now? Yes, but again, as, as, the, uh, as the video comes out probably an hour or two later, the, these setups might be already gone, but I'll just mention them anyway. Um, just because we have not taken out this high yet, uh, we could be instead having this as a one, two, as mentioned, and this would be the start of that next structure to the downside, and we would be having this as some, as some kind of one, two. However, if we are looking at very close and a uh, very low time frame at one minute, this definitely feels and looks more like a three way move as an ABC. And of course, either this is an ABC of a starting a starting a um, diagonal or this is going to be a corrective structure. Now, the invalidation is very close here. So I might be looking into a possible short setup here soon. Um, we don't really have a divergence between these highs yet. So I could be expecting this to take out these highs here and uh, one most likely taking out these highs as well and then just start dumping. So that could be my entry trigger. Um, these definitely feel like they are kind of impulsive looking. We do have that divergence here. Did not have it here, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely looks pretty okay as is. We did have that divergence here. So maybe it is a third of third here and we would need to go to smaller time frame to see the divergence between these two lows. Oh well, uh, but again, I'm still looking a bit more down here um, if we want to play the scalp game here. But I feel like that is pretty much everything I wanted to share on Bitcoin. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes, link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video, bye bye.